Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Secondary Heroes podcast. We're celebrating Thanksgiving by watching none other than the 2008 classic, Thanks Killing. This is Charles Trevor, and joining me as usual is... Hey, guys, it's Prague. Gobble, gobble, mother cluckers. This is the Lorian Wolfgang. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, turkey. Yeah, turkey. Speaking of turkeys. Boy. The Prague. turkey of turkeys. You can't this have turkey a... films without literally a film that is a turkey. <laughs> right? <laughs> How oh, do you do this one? Dude, hey, at least it wasn't some religious raptor. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fair point. I'm so glad we're done with the raptor one. Ah, philosopher. Yeah. Pastor. We are now doing Thanks Killing. Thanks Killing. Oh, yes, and what a, a classic. what a delight this movie was. Shout out to Nerd and Cheese, Larry, of the STS guys for ju- suggesting this movie when we asked on Twitter. I don't know if I'm going to thank him, but <laughs> you suggested it, Larry. So uh, I don't know. On. I'm I'm going to thank him because you know why? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to get right into it. Dude, I found myself laughing in this movie. It was made very poorly. This was made probably more poorly than... I don't know. Would you say that it was more poorly than Velocipaster? Oh yeah, it, it was. Yeah, it was this was definitely a student film, but I had so much more fun with this movie. Uh, and I, maybe I need to stop comparing it to Velocipaster. And that's Probably. that's what I keep doing. Yeah. But I actually there were times in this movie where I actually like I'm chuckling. I had a couple belly laughs. It, it, this movie was all over the place. It was fun. It was all over the place. I got it got it got. I will admit, as bad as it was, and this was awful. This movie is awful. It's oh, very much awful. Yes, I did get a few sensible chuckles out of me. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was laughing out loud. I wouldn't say that this was like significantly better than anything else, but it got a few sensible chuckles. And a lot of cringes, a lot of cringiness, that's for sure. Well, of course. Mm. Mm. And not always the best ways. But anyways. Trev, you got anything about this one? So for me, I feel like I'm I'm on board with Alex. There was points where I was like, <laughs> okay, this is so absurdly bad that this is absolutely <laughs> hilarious. See, that's what Philosopher Pastor, and that's what some bad movies, it's a tough, delicate thing to get where it's just so absurd like how yeah. could anybody ever come up with something like that it's funny yeah i wouldn't say uproariously funny for me personally but it was funny it was funny anything's funnier than philosophers for that movie is just dead to me but this movie this movie knew what it was this movie mm-hmm. knew that it was stupid this movie was like I, I want to say Velocipaster knew that it was stupid, but they were trying to phone it in and be serious throughout it. This one just knew it was stupid, and they played it up. They played up the stupidity. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be mad at this at all. I mean, if the budget was like $3,000, and they used up all of it, I thought, pretty well. <laughs> so kudos to them Dude, for making this, a really oh, crazy effect. little the, whatever the you want to call this movie. Effects. <laughs> <laughs> practical effects. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that that, that 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 what this has over some of the other films is that I really enjoy like creatures in horror movies like any kind of puppetry and creatures are like my thing so it definitely has that going for it which I really enjoyed well, but the to turkey. that point as I'm like about almost done with it I'm like I kind of want the turkey from Thanksgiving in the Horror bracket. I want this turkey facing off against just because he has, you know, he has snark to him. You know, he has sass when he's going and killing people. And I like that. I respect the kills. It, it's true, man. He, <laughs> but here's the thing. The thing that I, the thing that I didn't really understand was the fact that he was supposed to be a Native American from 500 years ago, but he talks like he's straight up from Jersey. Like, oh, of course, that's what makes pipe. it funny. No, yeah. oh, dude, I, <laughs> the absurdity I it of it is what makes it funny, right? Like, why even, you talk like this? even when they go back in time, the 500 yeah. years ago, he still talks like that, and everybody's like pilgrims. Yep, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and wait a second, 500 years? Wasn't the pilgrims around only like what 200 years ago? 
No, it's sixteen twenty one. Wow, I'm an idiot. Sorry, don't listen to me. Can we edit that part out? <laughs> yeah, well, it still it hasn't been 500 years. 1621 to 2021 would only be 400 years. Okay, so I'm not too dumb. <laughs> I'm just a little dumb. <laughs> hey, if you, <laughs> uh, why don't you guys go over to CrossTheStreamsMedia.com and listen to all of our episodes over there. If you think I'm dumb, then you can listen to all those episodes and find out if I'm really actually all that dumb. Anyways, you can listen to and you can find all of our links to all of our social medias as well as leave us a review. Even more exciting is you can leave a review feature, feature where you could leave a question, feedback, suggestions, hot takes, all the above. You know what? Just do a voicemail, dude. We'll put you on the line. We'll put you on the air. And all that is at crossthestreamsmedia.com. Or if you're on Twitter, it's ctsmedia. Or CT, hashtag ctsmedia. I don't know. It's one of them. I don't care. Hey, and if you're watching on YouTube uh, to look at our beautiful faces, we're very handsome. I tell you what. Uh, if you go over there, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not going to tell you to smash it. I've been listening. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and God, every single one of them say smash that like button. I even went onto Google to find out who was the first person to say it, so I could just ah, so I could just be mad because it annoys me. Anyways, so make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. <laughs> Uh, and if you like this movie, hey, leave a comment. We want to know what you think. I The comments that we got for the Velocipaster were great, and it made me laugh a lot. So thank you guys for piping into the conversation. Fantastic stuff. Anyways, let's get to the show. Let's do oh, it. Oh, so, this is free for you and priceless to us. Of course. We Again, you can't really spoil these bad movies. They are bad movies, but that was our spoiler person, so we're about to spoil the movie. But again, you can watch this on Tubi. You can watch this on Pluto, I think. It's not on any of the major streaming services. There's a ton of ads, which was outstanding watching experience. But you can watch wow. this yourself. And unlike Velocipaster, I think it's worth your time. I think there's a few laughs, and it's so just absurdly idiotic that you're like, so okay. <laughs> let me get this out of the way first, because I do agree with you. I think this is <laughs> worth your time, and there are laughs. But just to get it out of the way, because we have to, this film is dated. Oh, like there are, oh. there's dated humor that will offend you because it's offensive, <laughs> um, and cringy. You just kind of have to be like, yes, we were idiots back then. Get past that, and uh, the, the the ongoing John Bunny Ramsey joke got old really oh, fast. Yeah, but that was, just that put that aside weird. and be like, yeah, okay, we get it. You guys are weird. Um, but the rest of the film, yes, it is is a delight. I bet this is going to be one of those uh, films that would be fun to watch with like a group of people, like on the day after Thanksgiving, where you're full of turkey and you're just yes. like really dumb tired and you just want to watch something stupid with your friends. I think this would be that kind of film, perfect for that. For absolutely. sure, agreed. I absolutely. I think this so is a dumb. cool midnight viewing after Thanksgiving, but it has to be a Thanksgiving. Like I would not watch this in July. Like there's no yeah. way I'm watching this in July. But yeah, this is this is 100 percent a Thanksgiving movie, which I'm glad that there is a Thanksgiving movie because you get bombarded with Christmas and you get a bit of hor well, you get all the horror movies with Halloween. It's nice to have this little in between of yeah. just just goofiness. I mean, you think with all the carving we do during Thanksgiving, there would be more slashers, but guess not. Oh. And so the one kind of point I wanted to make before we get too far is that the horror bracket, the reason it brought up in my head is because he literally, do you know another horror villain that cuts off the face of their victim, like Leatherface, oh. but then impersonates that person with their face mask, right? I mean, and gets that away with it. so good. And gets away with it. <laughs> And I will say, and gets mask, away with it as a as a turkey. It was <laughs> that was so great. That was great. I'm sorry, funny, that was fantastic. Dude. Because the mask actually looked like the guy. Like it did it, look pretty good. It, it actually just looked down. really. It just <laughs> shrunk it down, down to a turkey head. <laughs> I will say, what helped with that was that the fact that the actor who played the dad had a fake mustache to begin with. So oh, you, yeah. all you had to do was take that face fake mustache and put it on um, the mask itself, and it worked out pretty well for that. So. It's a now, good, a good now one. if we get into it, I uh, funny enough, like I was just telling Prague that I actually wrote a few notes on this movie. As you can see, very few notes. Mm -hmm. 
But my very first note, which is the very first frame of this movie, is boobs. So I was if you like to say highlights of the film, and I like that's where <laughs> Alex would start. <laughs> And I, did. I mean, it is the first frame. It just is right there. <laughs> there it is. And well, face. and I had it was funny because whenever the um, what was it? Oh, the credits rolled. That woman who's only in the movie for maybe three minutes, and all it is is pretty much just her boobs the whole time. Uh, she's in the credits as one of the main characters, which is great. Wanda Lust. Right once I saw Wanda, Wanda Lust, Lust, I was like, I was like, okay. That was the boob woman. That had to have been the boob woman. <laughs> and I looked it up, sure enough. By the way, uh, it, pretty good stuff. No. <laughs> like, who runs around just, like, with their top off in the middle of the as wood? A pilgrim, as a pilgrim. Did, how do you even get that many clothes off as a pilgrim? <laughs> it was so ridiculous. It was like, I so I watched it on my laptop while my wife is sitting there watching The Bachelor. And I'm like, should I just turn the screen a little bit so she yeah, doesn't see what I want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was ridiculous. I mean, it's man. an extreme close-up. I mean, it's like it pans back. It pans from... outwards, yeah. Yes, wow. and then it goes into her, like, yeah, running. Running, yes. And that's that's where we get, like, the Evil Dead ripoff of having the low camera shot with the uh skewed colors and whatnot it very much was that that was totally an evil dead ripoff right there but they did it it, if you know that it's a turkey that's doing it it's so much funnier it's just silly silly fun and then so the turkey this is when we first see the turkey kill somebody and he has to say nice tits before he does kill her. <laughs> and then after this, we get the opening credits with that bumping soundtrack, which was definitely recurring. <laughs> but it was definitely bumping. My my bass was rattling because I have a deluxe home theater so, system. <laughs> the music in this is so weird. It's like so of its time, but also like feels like almost like even earlier 2000s. And then yeah. it always abruptly cuts off. Like it'll just stop mm-hmm. for no reason. Yes. It's done. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. The audio in this movie was garbage. Oh, so because cool. you have that deep bumping soundtrack, and then it goes to like a classic '90s rock yeah, that fits 90s, like in whatever. school. What? And then there's this metal song when they're driving in the jeep. <laughs> what is this movie? Ridiculous. <laughs> but then, so and one of our main characters, I called him the B movie Channing Tatum because he looked yeah, like. Yeah, he looked like a was, poor man's Channing. T- t- Channing I was gonna Tatum. say that he looked like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer villain, like one of the like random like teenagers that goes to high school that like like turns into a vampire and dies in an episode. Like that's what he looks like. The same kind of hairstyle, the like little pendant thing he was wearing, the like, shell yeah. shell necklace, bad acting and everything. Oh, he looks dude. super old, right? Yeah, he looks like he's thirty. Well, they all like, look when like he went and met his college. mom. He looked like he should have been the same age as the mom. Like, if they were a couple, I'd be like, okay, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and then Definitely there's... I mean, they, they really leaned on to some of the stereotypes with having, like, let's make sure that we have the slutty girl. Let's make sure that yeah. we have the fat jokester, the nerd virgin, the... You know, you have all the of jock your... Guy, yeah. Yeah, the jock, sure. and then the yeah. girl who... Which, I was kind of surprised that they made her the lead I, the lead girl in this movie i don't know i thought she was probably one of the worst parts of the whole movie no she was the worst but it made sense for her to be the final girl because she was the one that was like they kind of had her be like the kind of the version of this you know that's supposed to be the final girl so it made yeah. sense for her to be but as an actress oof. Oh, oh oof. and there's a scene <laughs> there's a scene that near the very end we're in the basement and she keeps looking like off screen at the different people on, on set behind her like the crewmen just keeps looking yeah. at them like, stop doing that it's so bad well so, in yeah, that whole that point sorry sorry uh that yeah that whole beginning part where they're leaving school and they're like oh we're done with school let's go home um i really felt like they had just finished watching the american pie trilogy and they were really trying to phone in american pie like that's what it felt to me i i was like god I, this I is american pie like everything that they were saying was just, I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, it was very American Pie. That same kind of time frame too. Does now I sense? love American Pie though. I love all the movies, sure. even the even the lesser of the ones. I think it was the wedding one, but I 
I just, I love them all. And that, I think that's maybe why I kind of got that feeling from it. Cause I could kind of feel that same vibe, but whatever. Yeah. Makes sense for sure. I mean, at the start also, so we open with the women's breasts and then there's the, the slutty girl who jokes about having sex over this holiday break. And one of the other kids says it's not tits giving. And so <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's a line the turkey should have said, but still. <laughs> Oh, I think I think it was the lead. I think she's the one who said that. Yeah, and she said it really bad too. Mm -hmm. It's not just giving. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it should have been the turkey that said that. And did anyone else get like the the low rent Seth Rogen vibe from that one guy? From like, the big like, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Like old school Seth that. Rogen. Yeah. I yeah. I, like, I felt like okay, that. old school Seth Rogen mixed with uh, the guy from Varsity Blues. The big, the big football yeah. player in Varsity Blues. I was like, yeah, they're really phoning these teenage movies in for this one. Oh, for sure. Uh, I mean, so, it's still, but it, it honestly, it kind of worked for this movie. Oh, like sure. It needed, it needed all of those characters. Well, it no. made them all super annoying. I was rooting for the turkey throughout the film. Oh, oh so yeah, absolutely. I wanted. To, I was like, let's go turkey. The turkey, okay, so if you haven't seen this movie, the turkey is literally a puppet, and you could tell it's a puppet because, like, Only it, his head's ever on screen. Yeah, you never see his full body in the you film. You never ever. see his full body. Ever. He's, he, uh, and, like, whenever his mouth constantly is open, and there's no, like, throat, it's just sheer plastic all the way through. But yeah. he's the best actor throughout this whole movie. And it's a puppet. I liked the voice actor guy. He, he yes, was what good. the voice actor was did a great job. So he <laughs> was really good. He was so funny. Like, he captured this evil turkey. <laughs> God, it's so stupid talking about this. It really is. Well, there's an actual storyline to this film because it's that classic horror setup where there's a spooky story for the town. And this one is that for some reason, <laughs> this Indian chief did some necromancy on a turkey to get vengeance on white people throughout, but only he ever comes every 505 years. Oh, and that's right. <laughs> and at midnight, it would be exactly 505 years. Of course. But, but then there's a hillbilly guy where he's, which by the way, the hillbilly guy, it's almost like they just found, went to a truck stop and said, yeah, they found somebody here. That, that homeless dude over there, let's get him in. <laughs> we need that guy in our movie. Um, and he had the beautiful little lassie dog that peed on the totem. That was sad. Okay. I, I was like, if they kill the dog, I'm done with the movie. And if we didn't they do the didn't podcast, show it, they didn't still, show anything. They insinuated that they killed the dog. And it was, I was rooting for the collie. As beautiful soon as I lassie. saw that scene, I thought of you, Trevor. I'm like, uh oh. Uh -oh <laughs> not <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> what, what did the turkey say? It's, he it's says, Ed, I'm pissed. Yeah, <laughs> as he's being peed on by the as dog. he's being peed on by the dog, he says, "I'm pissed." That's great, and the dog just keeps going over. Just, yeah, it doesn't stop; it just keeps happening. It's like golden showers for days on this turkey. Ah, uh, which yeah. now and and the cool thing about it is, like, whenever they do this whole like flashback to go talk about how this all happened, they go into a cartoon sequence. Yep, and I thought. Mm -hmm. Wow, this cartoon sequence actually looks like high quality and really good, with more emphasis on women's breasts too. Oh yeah, yes. Obviously. I mean, they don't show <laughs> genitals as well. Yes, yeah, there's quite a few. Either I mean, it's animated. It's okay. Well, yeah, it's yeah. animated <laughs> for a cheesy movie that probably nobody ever expected to be watched or talked about as much as we're talking about it now. Yeah. And so sure. this is we after that sequence, we get to one of the sequences I laughed the most where we're introduced to the Leeds dad and he's the oh, sheriff yeah, for, for the sure. town and that he drinks the hero. coffee. and He's like, hey, this tastes like crap. And she's like, well, that's because <laughs> it did it is. And she has, shows the coffee pot with the turn in it. I, I was so funny. I, I think what made that funny is he shrugs it off. He just yeah, he was there. Up, like, and like, she shows oh, the that's, oh, that's, he, He's like, okay, checks out, makes sense. Yeah. And, then, and then she goes, I want a divorce. And he goes, oh, all right. And she just leaves, <laughs> it's done. Like, all right. And then we never see her again. 
<laughs> no, I, I just feel like that should be in more movies where they say this coffee tastes like crap. It's because it, it is. <laughs> Okay, the fact that we're having this much fun talking about this movie is, uh, I mean, come on, man. This is so it, much fun. It really is a movie you watch with people. Like, I think this is yeah. one of the turkeys that does work. I think it works with a group of people. Because I'm having more fun talking about this than I did watching it. Not that I didn't hate, I didn't hate watching it. I enjoyed it. It just wasn't as funny as I think you guys found it. But now talking to you, it's kind of funny. Well, I mean, there was there was a lot that, the, it, as... I'm I'm trying to figure out the right wording for this because it's not it's definitely not a good movie by no. any means. But the fact that we it's can't enjoyable. Sit here and there's just entertainment do, to it. Entertainment, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's because they weren't it was trying good. hard to be bad. Their badness yeah, it just came true. naturally. Right. Like exactly. the pastors, like we're gonna script this to be bad. Rather than just let's do some stupid stuff on screen and yeah. film it. Let's have fun yeah. to make a stupid, fun, dumb movie. And they did it. <laughs> Honestly, man, I I'd watch this again. This is definitely a second watch for me. I'd watch it again. But I might watch it again with you again. I would okay, that would be fun. But next Thanksgiving. I'm not watching it again this yeah, year. No. <laughs> just like once every couple of years. Once every five hundred and five years. There we go. Movie. Okay, that makes way more sense. I will do that. Yes. And so the turkey has a few zingers. There's a point oh, where you? he, yeah, well, he kills one person, and she's like, "Did you kill him?" And he's like, "No, it was an accident." See, I had this axe. <laughs> I, was say, I, I enjoyed all the puns. That was my sensible chuckles through this. It was like, well. I don't, I don't remember this now, man. But actually, I like, watched it two days ago, so. Him. And it was all yeah. bloody. It, and so I'm like, then it's when the lead action. starts screaming like crazy. And he literally just tells her to shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I need shut more up. villains when the any type of person's in distress <laughs> and screaming to just say, shut up. Uh, shut <laughs> up. There's more <laughs> colorful language than that, but it gets the point across. Yeah. The, and throughout the entire movie, there's a lot of colorful language. And that's what Prague was Foul alluding language. to. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. If you're not watching on YouTube, uh, Trevor definitely just put up bunny rabbit ears for that one. Foul language. Oh, I love it. So good. So many turkey jokes in this. Gobble gobble, gobble mother cluckers. I mean, just him. She chants, "There's no evil turkey. There's no evil turkey." And then he comes in behind and says, "There's no evil turkey." <laughs> it was just such good timing. <laughs> Well, what was she doing I in the woods? She point. was like trying to call her dad or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah, she because he was going seven. to the big Thanksgiving cop ball that they have, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, and then the turkey well, says, "I'm going to drink your blood like cranberry sauce." There was some good Thanksgiving jokes, just like oh, yeah. for the time. Yeah, I I, I enjoyed that. You know, serve it up. Got to do well, it. Forget turkey movie. Serve it up. Do everything. And I'm. And I'm watching it, and I'm thinking every pun that happened. I'm like, okay, I hope Prague's writing this down because this is. Oh, I knew all of them. This is all on Prague right now. Oh, for sure. Yeah, what was the one where he walks in on the other one having sex with some guy, and then he? So I was not expecting turkey sex in this film, by the way. So there was two weird sex sequences. I mean, if we want to jump to it, there's the the turkey needs a ride. And there's oh God, this creepy yes. pervert guy oh, who pulls over and says, Turkey, come in. And he talks about... He starts about, unzipping his He unzips his pants with the turkey. He looks at it from behind. He's like, that's nice and tight. That was yeah. one of the most <laughs> awkward things I've seen on film in who, my entire life. Who drives by looking for turkey? Oh my god! Oh, some it's, uh, it's, I thought they were going to do jokes about him wanting to eat it and because it's a turkey, oh, but know. no. I know. <laughs> well, well, it's almost like there. everybody in this movie acted like the turkey was a human. Yeah. Like yeah. everybody yeah. acted yeah. like it was a human. It wasn't like it was an actual turkey. It was it was like the fact that the turkey was wearing a mask of a man and getting away with being a man. Like and they all and crouched then, down to lean it to talk yes. to it. And then does it, does it give it away? Being picked up by as as he's a hitchhiker. 
like everybody acts like this is a human, not a turkey, which is silly on its own. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where I was trying yeah, to Yeah, that was super that. awkward. And then later the, the slutty girl is taking it from behind, and so she doesn't see the turkey come oh, in. Oh, that's right. And oh, God, that's right. He finishes, he kills the guy who is having sex with her, and he finishes, and he literally doesn't finish. says... It was his blood that, like, splattered onto her back. No, the turkey finishes it. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> and he okay. says, that's some stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite line. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> I just, oh my god, his orgasm face. I did not need that. <laughs> he stretches out his neck towards the camera. Oh my god. This movie. Oh, that's right. Okay, so sorry. Just to jump backwards. I actually, this yeah, was in of one of my notes. Probably one of the the better shot scenes, I thought, was that hitchhiker scene that we were talking about where um, he... He, the 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 guy picking up the turkey is expecting sex, but the turkey puts a shotgun to his head, and right. I I don't remember That's what he off. says, but they yeah they he ends up shooting the the driver in the yep. head, which gave this fake blood splatter whatever. Right. But there was a shot of all these lambs out on a field, yeah, and <laughs> all their heads pop up, and then yep. they go back down to eat, and that I was, was like. Great shot. That, that was, was good. That was good. That, that was, was good. really I, good. I made note of that too. Yeah. I was like, I wow, I'm actually was, impressed. I don't know how the turkey got the gun. All oh, of a yeah, sudden, right? he All just whipped sudden, the gun shotgun. out. <laughs> <laughs> and then the turkey can drive the car, which I yeah. thought was impressive as well. <laughs> Why not? I don't know how I reached the pedals <laughs> or anything. Maybe it works because I think I was drinking throughout that whole movie, so it yeah. it made that movie way better. Yeah, logic does not work in this film. You cannot use logic. Please don't. No, it's so, like the, that. There's that bunny that just flies in out of nowhere when they're by the campfire. There's oh, that yeah, bunny just that flies in. in. The pit. Okay. Yeah, and the the guy's like, "Oh, that happens all the time." Yeah. He literally <laughs> says that. What does that happen? <laughs> and then okay. the nerd guy looks at it close. He's like. It looks like it's been pecked by like a beak. He's like trying to explain it logically yeah. in the course of this any... film. And it... <laughs> he goes, the the body, it's been it's been slashed open, but not by a knife. By a turkey beak. Exactly. It's like, what? How would you even know the difference? Oh, he's obviously well versed in this, you know? He's the expert. Turkey lore. Yeah. You have to have the expert in these kind of movies that knows. They what's literally up. use the term turkeyologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> World renowned turkeyologists out there are oh, familiar with this case. So good. So, so one good. question I had, and uh, maybe you guys picked up on this, maybe didn't, but that nerdy guy kept like licking and smearing his his fit was hand that across just to be face? annoying. Yeah, I thought I, it was no, just... No, that was just because... Okay, so here's this. I thought maybe it had to do with him having some kind of connection with the turkey, either being the turkey himself or being a descendant of the turkey, because the turkey does the same thing halfway through the movie. He takes his, like, hand up and does the same maneuver with his mouth. Oh. I'm like, are they trying to make some kind of illusion here? So I thought by the end of the film, he would have, like, taken over the mantle or become one with him. But no, he just died like everybody else. So not too sure what that was about or what that meant. Like, was it was did something happen in the late two like late 2010s that I just don't remember? Like, was that a thing? I nerds just thought maybe it was out. like a nerd trope or something like that. Like, oh, nerds are zoomed gross. zoomed in on his face three times doing that. Yeah. Throughout the right. whole movie, they, actually. They did do it a bunch throughout the movie. I have no it idea what like, that meant. Yeah. I, I just Turkey thought it was just it. showing him being just a gross nerd. That's what and, I thought like, too. Yeah. But it I like the idea that he's actually the turkey or transforming into the I, turkey or the turkey's green servants or something. I would have loved that. I would have loved it if he like would always like disappear. Like, oh, I gotta go pee or something. And then they get attacked by the turkey. And then the turkey comes up. And, and then we zoom out much... and he has the turkey and it's just a puppet. It's an actual turkey yes. puppet, but it's this guy and he's killing people. Oh, but he's God. using the turkey puppet as a front. Dude! <laughs> That would have made this movie so much better. You like oh, in around the camera and you see him standing there the whole time. And like, why was nobody acknowledging this man? 
Dude, oh my god, that would have made this so much more funnier. <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm I'm the really think thinking about, about this because that was that's good. That's some good stuff right there. Because much yeah. better than the point where she says freak she says beaked out. Oh, I mean freaked out, but she says yeah. it in a monotone and doesn't oh, even this... pause a beat on the mistake. <laughs> Oh my god, that acting was so bad. She was terrible. Freaked out. Oh, uh, I mean freaked out. And she does the whole like looks around the room like what? Like are they being infected by here by the turkey? I had no idea what was happening there. Oh boy. So favorite kills, anything? Oh, favorite this movie? Kills. Trevor, you want to take this one first? I'm trying to think of uh, all of the different ones. I liked when he cut the dad's head off of Johnny just because <laughs> that was such a quick transition where they had that long, they had a few long establishing scenes that were like Velocipast where they went on too long. One was with the Vim fixing the Jeep. The second one was too where long. dad, the dad unnecessarily doesn't like the son because he's the backup quarterback rather than the starting quarterback. And so the son comes in and his response is to fart and then walk out of the room. <laughs> and then he goes outside. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the part was the no. weirdest thing. <laughs> it's like a little toot. Not a big one. A small little like. He just farts and then he walks out. <laughs> but then he goes out and he just smokes his cigar. And they spend like five Forever. minutes of him just Forever. outside smoking. It was like an ad. It was like an ad for cigarettes. Oh, <laughs> and then God. the son comes out to talk to him and he's like, oh, I'm actually the starting quarterback. And he's like, okay, you're the best son ever. And then there was a little jump scare where the turkey actually just pops up that was the one jump scare of the whole film and then he just starts sawing away at the dad's oh, head okay the, and then he's like hey johnny go long and he because <laughs> they did a lot of football analogies and he throws the dad's head <laughs> as a football this is so much fun you're talking about <laughs> There was so many football analogies. Oh, no. But it was just so I, sudden I, I when the dad's I standing there right. doing it's nothing and then long. boom, dead. It's just so suddenly quick. But the way that he was sawing his head off, dude, yeah. was like, that was so gruesome. It was pretty gruesome. It was like, I remember thinking, oh my God, this kill is better than any of the kills in Velocipaster. This is so good. Oh, hey Johnny, go along. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I'm crying. Oh, that's a good one. Um, wow. Yeah, I was gonna say the one where he busts through the guy's chest and says his iconic line uh, was my favorite kill. I uh, didn't care for the aftermath, but I did enjoy that kill a lot. As it came to the chest, the burst chest is my favorite. Oh, he comes through the chest and he goes, cluck cluck, mother mm -hmm. effer. Gobble gobble. Yeah. 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 gobble, gobble, mother effer. <laughs> but even just oh. before that that setup where the turkey is just this animated like glowing cooked turkey yeah, and somehow like a, he eats it he good. swallows it whole to then be able to he has a gun again i don't know how he got the gun down does he magically create guns and axes and stuff no, is that I, one I of his powers i think this is under his plumage remember they talked about plumage i think he just has yeah. all these different weapons under there <laughs> all these right? tools yeah. he's like batman he has yeah. a utility belt well, what? it's a thanksgiving yeah. utility belt well and but he who's... shoots out the guy's chest and as the turkey's there for some reason they play battle him of the republic I don't, yeah i don't know why <laughs> it wasn't an independence day movie I don't know, like, Thanksgiving came long before we had any kind of American ideals or songs or anything. I guess it was free to use. They used it. And I was like, oh, well, I'll have to pay for this, so we'll might as well use it. They probably <laughs> used a lot of their budget on that one song that kept repeating yeah, that throughout one, the whole movie. Whatever that was. Yeah, I that agree. One does. rock song or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was by, like, Stained or Creed or... Um, I don't oh. know. Dude, bands Creed back in the is day. so much better than that. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> well, um, speaking of songs, song. so after that, the the fat guy gets killed. No, that's right. The that's song. when there's, there's they play that friend song. That yeah. was one of the most cringiest songs I've oh, ever God. heard in my entire life, singing about my best friend's dead. Like, I understand it was on purpose, but they nailed cringy songs. And that scene went on for half the movie, I think. 
I mean, it was a long one. It was almost as friend. long. It was almost as long as that Vietnam flashback from the last movie we watched. Ugh. It just went on yeah. forever. I was like, all right, we get it. We get it. <laughs> like, you can stop this now. <laughs> so, Man, yeah. I, went I don't too know long. why I just, I'm not really remembering that. Why Maybe I that? only really focused on the good parts. <laughs> yeah, probably. Be, be thankful that you Which did. was not a lot of good parts, but they were they were in there. But they're in there. We're highlighting them now. So I mean, one good part it. was the full scene in the kitchen with the dad in the turkey outfit oh, for and the sure. turkey wearing the mustache and glass. Just that still shot oh, is outstanding that cinematography. Scene, it's just great stuff. The scene is my favorite scene in the film. It was it, that that made the movie for me. Once I saw that scene, I said, "Oh yeah, that raises the bar between all the yeah. other movies." And then the, the turkey even says, "Hey, this is getting awkward. I'm gonna head. yeah." <laughs> he just they sit there for a while, slurping on their coffee. It's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna leave." Well, I I didn't understand. So okay, so he he kills the dad, and the kids come in, and he greets all the kids and stuff, and then he lets them hang out in the garage for. Oh, However wow. long to do research. I think it's five which, minutes. Then. Yeah. Yeah, it was five minutes, but they made it look like a montage. Like it, it, was, it was a montage. It was a terrible was a montage. montage. <laughs> and then and then they go, Oh, I think I'm sick of searching. And the girl goes, It's only been five minutes. Right. And it's like, yes, ah, I get it. I get it. Okay. You're making fun of montages. But and then they found the but, actual book. I mean, just the idea that all the libraries are closed because it's dark. Not because it's Thanksgiving weekend <laughs> when the libraries would be closed, <laughs> but the, well, oh, shoot, my dad has a out. book collection. <laughs> oh, the pre. How about days. the fact? How about the fact that uh, people's parents are dying? Yeah, and they get over it so seconds. fast. Oh yeah, like it. It was like the turkey killed the girl's dad. So then, whenever they go ahead and kill the turkey which turns out to not be dead because they throw it in a radioactive... Sub- which, by the way, the fact that they threw it in a radioactive thing to make it come back, whatever, that, that's hysterical. Um, they go back to the house to go watch a movie, and the dead dad is still in the basement or in the garage or whatever, oh, yeah. still they're rotting like, away. I mean, it's like... And then they have sex. On the, the dude <laughs> says, I might have lost my parents, but I found a girlfriend. And that makes up. She goes, and she goes, a girlfriend, and she just lost her parents too. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Oh my god. Doesn't matter. This movie. Yeah. But that's the thing: is it played up? It played up the fact that it knew that it was silly and dumb, and it worked. It worked for me. It's still working. I'm laughing right now talking about it. I think I'm laughing thinking about it than watching it. But yeah, you can be my quarterback. That was a fun line. <laughs> there was so many football analogies. Well, there was so many football analogies. There were so many uh, turkey puns. <clears throat> there was, dude, it was good. I, what did you guys think of the little montage of, oh, wait, no, we already discussed that. Sorry. The best friend montage where they're yeah. like laying in the grass. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah never mind. So you do remember it, Alex. Now yes. I do. And then there was the whole like Native American joke about I thought that casinos made us square or whatever and the turkey says casinos almost did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh no. Oh no, we we shouldn't laugh at that. No. <laughs> As I said, this movie mm, can't be offensive. Yes. Oh, it's yes. definitely offensive. Like, there's a few terms they just keep harping on. It's like, really? Okay. <laughs> but maybe that was the times. Because oh, no, oh, it's like, definitely sure. with the times. 2008, yeah. it was all those terms were acceptable. Right. Even yeah, though that was only we're not, we're 12 not years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah it wasn't that long ago. Wow. Times have changed pretty quickly. For sure. Yes. But I mean, a lot of the terms were used in like Freddy movies and there was Freddy versus Jason and that girl, I guess, still gets hounded about saying the Certainly. F word and right. not the not the other uh, F words. Yeah. F words are bad. Yeah. Uh, let's just stop there. Okay, and let's so they, they, uh, 
We get to actually see the turkey in his teepee because since he's Native American in some form, he oh lives in a teepee. And he's making a salad. And then he's just eating his salad and he's listening to classical music. And mm -hmm. he's just chilling. And for some reason, they have to interrupt him. Just he's having dinner, having he's his having salad, dinner, and then man. he made he's himself. Tossing his salad in his tent alone. Well, was that I love in the that book, he listens too? to classical music, too. Was that in the book that they read? He... The turkey will live in a teepee. Find oh, yeah. a teepee and you will find the turkey or something like that. It's like, that's the most done. And then the fact, and he's like, oh, yeah, I'm tossing that salad. That salad's getting tossed real good. Yeah. Trying to make a tossing the salad joke. Hey, that worked. Indeed. <laughs> Not really. But they found it. <laughs> they found it. Is that when they officially? Is that when they got the totem off of his neck, or was that when they actually finally killed? No, they him? got the totem back at her house in the dad's garage or whatever. And again, this is where he they needed rope, and he literally pulled out one of those basting strings, and that's what they tied the turkey <laughs> with. <laughs> oh. I'm, sorry, it's been a couple days since I've seen the movie, so I'm trying to like rewind my brain to think about all the different scenes yeah he just he just couldn't figure out how they figured it out and it was the book and he said the book wasn't real yeah he said the book wasn't real but then they do that demonic chant in reverse so the way to get rid of the turkey is you have to <clears> burn him <throat> at the stake but first you have to get rid of his invincibility by saying this demonic thing only in reverse and for some reason in the book it's in math code that the guy solves without that's a piece right. of paper that's and right. pencil and then that backwards code, the one interesting piece is that the last word, I played it back twice. It sounded like Mephisto. No way. I, I'm just not even bringing, making that up. It sounds just like Mephisto. <laughs> Mephisto. <laughs> so you know what that means? Yeah, Mephisto confirmed. No, that yeah. means that the turkey is a part of the Marvel Universe. Oh, for yeah. sure. This yeah. is a Marvel movie, folks. Yeah. You're, this is an exclusive. Marvel movie, thanks killing. There you go. You heard it here first. <laughs> That's going to be in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. The turkey just is going to be the turkey from orbs. Thanks killing. <laughs> one of the many, many different dimensions is there's a bunch of puppet turkeys. <laughs> hey, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. It won't happen, but that would be fantastic. Turkeys with uh, foul language. Oh, I love it. Exactly. So they can't kill so then kill the radioactive them. turkey. Yeah, that's right. Then they need to kill him. They get the radioactive turkey. Yeah, so he gets, because he's going to escape, and so he gets shotgunned, and then that shotgun blast tosses him right into the radioactive waste. So then he comes out glowing green, and luckily he's able to still kill the nerdy guy. First he goes with the meat thermometer right in the backside and says, oh, you're oh, yeah. about done. <laughs> or you're ready or whatever like that. that was a good one. And then yeah, he grabs that. his tongue and rips it out. And that was that, a nice oh, little gruesome sequence. Was, and then he pecks yeah. his chest and breaks yep. open his rib cage to rip out his heart. That and then throws his though. heart. That was a good kill. Dude, wow. I'm glad that you just watched this movie because it's still very fresh in your mind. Like, I totally forgot. I knew that he died, but I forgot how graphic it was what, the way that he died. Like, that was great looking. Like, it looked great. As dumb as it was of him pulling the tongue out of his head, it it actually looks pretty good. good. For a I'm B sad. movie, or this is more like a C or a D movie. This is, this is a D These are D I'm movies, so sure. I believe. Yeah, these are definitely <laughs> D movies. For this being a D movie, that actually looks pretty good. Same with the sawing the head off of the dad. That looked really good. I mean, literally, and even the fact that like they held one of the heads of, I think it was the dad's head that they held. Yep. All I could think about was uh, the Velocipaster where they were holding the head and it was a mannequin head. This movie right. actually made the head look decent. Like like it was an actual head coming off. They didn't have like, to linger on it for too long either. It's and they like, didn't. linger on it forever. It's not because, annoying. It's like, we yeah, get it. We got like, it. it. We understood. <laughs> Exactly. Right. And I think that's that's what this movie had that the other movies didn't have is 
Like it did have this comedic timing to where it knew when to cut off of something. It knew when to move on to the next thing. It knew not that always, next, but not always. No, yeah. obviously not always because this was definitely a, a student film to an extent. Um, but it actually, it was like, it was right there. It was just, it was right there. I, I felt like the, if this filmmaker was to continue on, he probably would get better and better and better down the road. Oh, he has. This, just uh, FYI. Oh, I have a feeling you know so a little backstory on this person. Oh, they had a Kickstarter for the for the sequel. And it raised, like, I think, like three or four times the budget of the first film. So For Thanksgiving 3? Because there is no Thanksgiving yes, 2. correct. It is Thanksgiving 3. Because I think they didn't want to do the one in space, which is teased at the end. It is. So, <laughs> so shout out to the ending where it says to be continued oh, in, yeah. space. in space. That's, That's great. just perfectly fun, self aware of the in genre. In space. Yeah. Very self aware, which I enjoyed. Which, um, I mean, even leading up to that, he's now a cooked turkey. Like they do the whole, like, yes, it's just a regular family celebrating scene. Thanksgiving. Oh my and God, the cooked that turkey fantastic. stands up. And he says, I smell a sequel. I mean, that's how <laughs> horror movies I, should end. <laughs> I thought he was going to slaughter that whole family. And I, I like, did oh too. God. Here we go. This little girl is there, and these actors obviously are not actors. These are like some family. It's probably the family of the director. Like, hey, yeah. can well, you guys like thing. None of see? these people were actors. No one in this like, movie some, were actors. Some of them were tryhards for sure, but I don't right. think that family okay. were actors. And they just showed up at somebody's house and told them to film this scene. Yeah. That was well, fun. I liked that turkey a lot. Oh, yeah. The turkey was great. Turkey was the movie for me, for sure. Well, it's like, even at the very end, when he's getting killed by the, the lead girl or whatever, she yep. says, like, roast in hell, in hell, and then she, like, hits him with a baseball bat, and there's this randomly placed bonfire stack in their backyard yeah, or something. That's so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> but uh. if he actually has radiation... She's going to get radiation poisoning once he catches on fire. Like, being next to him, she already got radiation poisoning. She's going to be and dead in 10 days. Him. Yeah. But then somehow this turkey that gets into the bonfire, it pops out a fully cooked, breaded chicken bre chicken leg. I don't know <laughs> who put the Like, did Colonel Sanders come out of nowhere and season it? I don't understand. Like, okay, it, it was almost like they wanted to get one of those turkey legs that you get at, like, the Renaissance Fair. They wanted yeah. to get a turkey leg, but all they could get was a little chicken, chicken leg. <laughs> it was so, so They tiny. sell the turkey legs at Disneyland. They have those turkey legs everywhere. But the way that she ate it, like, she ate it as if it was a big turkey leg. Like, her elbow yeah, was, was way up as if thing. Yep. the whole thing. And, like, it, was, you're not going to eat a chicken leg like that. But yeah, it was funny, man. That was good. It was funny. Yeah. yeah. yeah especially it's with the hillbilly show. It's funny. Family. He's like, he just shows up. He's just there. That was great. Oh, man. I, I'm not going to lie. That, after talking to you guys, I feel like I would actually like to watch Thanks Killing 3. What about you guys? I want to watch Thanks Killing 3, and I want to have the turkey from Thanks Killing in the horror bracket because he had really good kills, and he had a lot of snark and personality. Next year. <laughs> Sure, next we'll year, yes, next year he can go in the down. small but deadly bracket, and I'm yes. having him beat Sam from Trick or Treat, and I'm no. having him beat Leprechaun already. Yeah, <laughs> see, you can't, yeah. you can't just. I want, that. I want the turkey. You can't just announce Chucky. it. <laughs> turkey versus Chuck. That's that's a good. That's a good pair. I could watch those two together in a film, like a versus yeah. kind of a thing. That'd could be fun. It, could the turkey beat out snarkiness wise Chucky or Freddy? Or Freddy? I feel like the turkey was like Freddy, just in terms of having the deformed skin and the snarkiness. I think he was yeah. like an homage to Freddy. I think he was more of a homage. That's almost too close for that. Yeah. yeah. I could see that, yeah. But Chucky, too, is a lot like that in character, so I don't know. Right. Well, so and as the Chucky movies went along down the road, he got more and more snarky. But that's the same way with Freddy as well. Freddy wasn't snarky at all in the first movie. He became snarky in like the third, but thanks killing sure. right out the gate, dude. Right that out the gate. They, they knew where the turkey on. was. <laughs> they came out swinging right out the gate. Oh my word. Literally. But I mean, without those other movies, we don't get thanks killing. 
Yeah. So I definitely want to watch Thanks Killing 3 just to see how it can go because they have good elements of absurdity. Apparently not as well received, but Oh, oh really? Oh, well, that's not going to be next week's show people, so don't expect Thanks Killing 3 for next week's show. This is our Thanksgiving episode, by the We're way. We're wrapping up Thanksgiving and we have a turkey film that we've been talking about forever for next for week. What was that? I wonder. I don't know. Chance. For ages, we've been talking about this movie. It can't be the movie I'm thinking of because that movie is amazing. It's so good. There's I'm no pretty sure it's the same one. Turkey. Pretty if sure. If you can guess, if you've listened to this far and you somehow listen to the show and you can guess what movie we're talking about next week, I will send you some form of a turkey themed prize. And you're, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm giving you a hint right now. You, you probably. Also, are. I want a turkey figure. I want the thanks killing turkey as some kind of pop figure or something. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that not done yet? Why is that not everything? done? Oh, the face? The face on it? Oh, yeah. With the what? face, that's the chase where he has the dad's <laughs> face. The dad's <laughs> face was so good. Oh, well, it really was. Hi, dad. I, just, like, give him a <laughs> I can't get over how. I, I feel like something's changed about you. Oh, you got yeah. a haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the garage. Uh, oh, where, where is that again? <laughs> Oh, Dad, always forgetting me. So bad. You know what? what was, okay. There was a leftovers joke, too, wasn't there? I always come back for leftovers or something. Oh, that was a good one. Is, this, that one is this a movie you guys would recommend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd recommend it as a bad movie to watch with your friends on Thanksgiving. But I would say watch it with people because I think it's a lot funnier. Yeah. And just pause and be like, yeah, pause did they just do that? Did they just do two different turkey sex scenes? Yeah, did they really <laughs> do that? Yeah, just understand that it's a little offensive and it's very time based. Yeah, for the period. But you can get over But I don't think that. it detracts from the movie. No. It can for some people. You just have to know it going in. Scott, yeah, no, you just have to know going in. If it comes yeah. as a shock, I think it's more like, okay, I, I don't. That's not my kind of humor, and it's not a humorous part of it. That's what's so bad about it. Yeah, they're like that's throwaway okay. pieces. But right, do you find that to be because of the times that we're in? I don't know. I think it's cringy. Yeah, it's cringy because I know what the the words. You know, I know the people that the words offend, and so of it, course, yeah. yeah. But I feel like so. yes. I agree. We don't it would be hard to people. recommend it to everybody. <laughs> of course. Sure. It's like, just like I would have recommended it to it's my like, hey, friends. Look, it's offensive. Yes. I would have recommended it to friends who are not easily offended. Who okay. who are of... I think even if you're you middle know. ground, it's just, I wouldn't do it if you know that even you don't like using those terms around those people in any capacity whatsoever. Even if it's right. like you've seen a stand-up comic do it, or you've seen old right. movies do it, and they're to have taken offense in the past. Those are the only people. Right. Well, I don't. Otherwise, really you can look past it and people, just so. go with gobble gobble. <laughs> mother gobble, effort. gobble mother effort. <laughs> Still so classic. Uh, cool. I think we've. I think we can wrap this one up. Yeah. Enjoy Thanksgiving, everyone. Be thankful for amazing movies like this that you can just have fun with. Don't take yourself so seriously, because for some reason, most movies these days act like they're the most serious things ever. Oh, yeah. That's every... Actually, should we... What are you guys thankful for? Oh, no. I hate it. Oh, this. yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Prague. It's happening. This is our Thanksgiving episode. We have to say what we're thankful for. Super I'm sappy thankful. response. I'm thankful for you guys that we can talk every. Oh, week. you took my answer. <laughs> oh, you took my answer too. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, in I'm, all seriousness, I'm... I am thankful for you guys. I am thankful for my family and the healthiness of everybody around me. So, yeah. um, yes, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm thankful for movies because I enjoy them. Yeah, health is number one. Hopefully that's what the past year and a half or whatever has reminded everyone. No matter what you have, <laughs> you have the greatest life on earth. You have all the money you have. Health, or uh, all of it's irrelevant. Yeah. Health and time, man. As long as you got time, you can do whatever. I think. I don't know. 
hey, <laughs> let's wrap this up before I say something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, that's Thanks Killing. Watch it if you're just bored on any time <laughs> over the next Thanksgiving weekend. You're like, got a this movie is only like an hour and six minutes. It's not even that long to get through. Yeah. Perfect length. I mean, there's sequences in Dune where we look at Timothy Chalamet for an hour and six minutes. So at least this movie has some fun stuff going on. And to everyone listening, we hope you enjoyed and we'll talk to you next time. Again, guess what we're talking about next week? Prague out. Adios, y'all.